Hello all, in this video I will give an overview on client scripts and UI policies. To access client script, in left navigator, type client script, open client scripts module under system definition menu. It will give the list of all the client scripts. Write UI policy in left navigator and click on UI policies under system UI application menu. It will give the list of all the UI policies. Now first we will see the similarities in between client scripts and UI policies. The client scripts and UI policies both execute client side logic and both use the same API and both are used to manage forms and their fields and both execute on form load as well as on when the form fields value change and used to make fields to be hidden read only and mandatory and in both the cases we can write the script as I've said that we execute client side logic it means they run on browser this is a user interface when this will run on the browser then both client script and UI policy will execute both use the same API and these are the client side scripting APIs. Both are used to manage forms and their fields. It's a form and these are the fields available on the form. Both are used to manage the form as well as their fields. Both are executed on form load and on form fields value change. If you are creating a client script, then you can define type as on load as well as on change of field. And similarly, if you are creating a UI policy, here you can select this option to decide when the UI policy should run. If you are selecting this option, it means the UI policy will run when the form is loaded and the user changes value on the form. But if you are not selecting this value, then this UI policy will run only when the user changes value on the form. Another one is both are used to make fields to be hidden, read only and mandatory. On client script, you have to write script or code to make field mandatory, hidden, read only. And so for this, you can use these, these um, client side scripting APIs. If I'll talk about UI policies, in UI policies, you can create UI policies action to make field mandatory, visible, and read only. So here, you don't need to write a code. You directly can create UI policy action and can make field mandatory, visible, and read only on the basis of the requirement. In both client script and UI policy, you can write script. Similarly, you can write scripting in UI policy as well as select this option. Here you can write scripting as a best practice. Always use UI policy if you want to make fields to be hidden, read only, or mandatory. Because so for this, you don't need to write a script. You can directly create UI action, and here you can set field name. Now I'll show you the difference in between client script and UI policies. Client script executes on when the form is submitted and it's not possible in case of UI script. If I open a client script, then you can define type as on submit and on cell added. And this is not possible in case of UI policy. Because UI policy only will run when the form is loaded and when the user changes value on the form. Second one is run faster than client script. It's true that UI script run faster than the client script, but client scripts execute before UI scripts. It means you UI scripts will execute after client scripts. In client script, we're going to access fields old value. 
if I open a client script and I define the type as on change, on change of assignment group, then here you can see the parameters old value. It will store this field's old value. In UI script, you can set condition when the UI policy should trigger and also can search fields attribute without scripting. It's a client script. For, for client script, you have to write scripting. But in case of UI policies, you can set condition here. And you also can write UI policies action to make field mandatory visible read only. These are the types of client script and UI script will run when the form is loaded and when the field values change on the form. And in UI script you can define the order of execution. Here you can define the order of execution of UI policies. In my previous video, I'll show you how to create a client script, and now I'll show you how to create UI policy. Go to left navigator, type UI policies, click on UI policies module under system UI application, and click on new button. And if you want to create UI policy from Studio, then open Studio. Click on create application file. Select category as client development. Select type as UI policy. Select the table on which you want to create this UI policy. Define short description here. And here we set order. Application will identify the scope of this UI policy. Now this UI policy is in needed scope. Here you can set the condition when this UI policy should trigger. If you are not defining any condition here, if you are not setting any condition, then this condition will return true. In this case, the UI policy logic will execute every time when the field value changes on the form. If global is selected, then this UI policy is applicable on all the views on this table. And if it is not selected, then here you can set the view name. And if the reverse if false is selected, then it will take opposite action when condition fails or condition evaluates to false. It will run. When the form will load and when the user changes value on the form, if on load is not selected, then it will run only when the user changes values on the form. If inherit is selected, then this UI policy will run for all the tables. Those will extend this table. It means it will be applicable on all the child table as well as. You can see here default view. So it means UI policy is having two views. One is advanced view and second one is default view. If you want to see the default view of this UI policy, then you can click on this UI action or related link. Now I'll set the condition here. As per the requirement, when the user will select option as other, then this field should be visible as well as mandatory and if the user is selecting these options other than other than this option then it should be it should not be visible on the form so now i'll set the condition as when what need is this other so i'll condition so i'll write condition as what need is is other and it should be global and submit this UI policy. When you will submit this pol UI policy, then you, then only you can see this related list UI policy action.
now we want to make this field mandatory as well as visible so i'll select this field from here tree picker as i already told you that to make field mandatory visible and read only we don't need to write a script in ui policy you can create a ui policy action to set these attributes for this field now submit this ui policy action After reloading this form, you can see that other field is not visible on the form. Now select what needed as other. Now you can see that other field is visible as well as become mandatory on the form. When other field is visible on the form, a message should display load this field so for this we need to write a script select run scripts and write script here here we are using show field message method and it's a column name you can configure dictionary and get the column name here we are passing the message Now you can see that the mass is displaying two times. So we need to write execute a false script. It will run when the condition fails. When what needed is not other. Then the script written in this section will run. Here we use hide feed message mapper to hide feed message when condition fails. Now you can see that it displaying message one time. Now I'll show you how it works. First it checks if it is there any condition or not. If condition is set and condition is true, then it will execute the script written in this section. If condition fails, then it will execute script written in this section. So in this case, when we are selecting what needed as other, then condition is true then it will execute the script written in this section and it will display a message and if I select what needed twice as legal one other than this other twice then condition evaluates false and in this case it will execute the script written in this section and it will hide the message for this field script is required when you are writing business logic other than setting these attributes to set this attribute you can write your policy action if you want to do something else other than setting these attributes then you can write scripts in your policies if you want to execute the script done in this section then make sure you have selected this option third is ui policies execute in ascending order for example you have written four ui policies on the same table in this order, the UI policy having order 100 will run first and this is how we can create UI policies in service now instance.